impact day. We're dealing with rain. At least it's not the snow that we got hit with last Friday. <laughs> yeah, rounds of rain is expected today, Molly. <laughs> rounds of rain today and tomorrow. You want snow, you have to go to the Twin Cities or the <laughs> Northwoods. So part of Wisconsin dealing with snow yesterday and today. It's rain, though, that's in our forecast. It is that massive system that brought severe weather to the south that's impacting us today. But we're on the warm side, so there's snow to our north, but rain is likely across southeastern Wisconsin with temperatures later this afternoon in the middle 50s. It will be windy, though, some gusts as high as 35 miles per hour. Right now, severe weather not looking like an issue across southeastern Wisconsin today or tomorrow, but it is possible that we could have a few rumbles of thunder tomorrow late morning into the afternoon and a really slight chance that we could see some small hail. The bottom line today and tomorrow, it's on and off rounds of rain, but there is going to be dry time both days. Right now, the most widespread and heaviest rain looks like it falls mainly overnight tonight. Some of it could fall late this evening. Temperatures are going to be on the mild side in the low and mid 50s. In terms of rainfall totals from yesterday through tomorrow, much of southeastern Wisconsin picks up up to about an inch and a quarter of rain. I think most of southeastern Wisconsin stays closer to three quarters or an inch. But it is this massive storm system that's stretching across the central part of the country that's impacting us. A warm front well off to our north now, but until that low pressure system and the cold front moves past us, will continue to deal with rounds of rain, but no snow. Heavy snow, though, falling across parts of the Northwoods with winter storm warnings in effect just north of Wausau. That includes Rhinelander. The Twin Cities no longer under that winter storm warning, but they had quite a bit of snow yesterday. So scattered showers in the forecast today and tomorrow. Wednesday and Thursday looking dry. Friday and Saturday, not big systems, but it does look like we could have a few rounds of really light rain. And right now it looks like we dry out just in time for Easter Sunday. If you need to wash your car like me, especially after the snow that we had on Friday today, tomorrow, not great options with the rain, but we are going to be dry Wednesday. We're dry Thursday. Let's time out the rain chance on future cast. This model already has some rain around at five o'clock. Right now, the dry air is winning out, but I do think we'll start to see a few more showers as we head towards about eight, nine o'clock and notice it's rounds of mainly light rain this morning. We get a break and then we'll see more rain build in as we head into the evening. The heaviest rain moving through southeastern Wisconsin overnight tonight. More dry time on and off tomorrow, but as this cold front moves in, that's when we could have a few rumbles of thunder before we finally dry out. But back behind that front, it will be much, much colder. We've had a lot of rain. We've had a lot of snow so far this month. We've had nearly four inches of precipitation. That's rain and melted snow, which puts us nearly two and a half inches above average. Normally for the whole month of March, we have just over two inches, so it has been a pretty wet month. We're going to continue to add those totals over the next few days with temperatures hanging out in the 50s. Rainy and windy today, the heaviest rain falling overnight tonight. We're drying out Wednesday and Thursday. Right now it looks like we warm up heading into the weekend, maybe just a few showers late in the day, Friday and Saturday. Looking good though, an improvement. Once we get through today. <laughs>